in my dream allah show me that the jal is uh, here and he is alive and uh, allah also show me his identity and his name is salam alaikum nice to meet you brother kasim wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh nice to meet you so the internet is going crazy over your dreams yes what <laughs> what are they about um when you start having them tell us about it well it's by the mercy of allah i am seeing those dreams and those dreams are spreading i am seeing those dreams from many years uh, but i never shared those dreams with anyone but in 2014 allah and muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa sallam to uh, order me to share my dreams with others and in uh, january 2015 i am uh, i started to share my dreams publicly and uh, since to that uh, day i am keep uh, sharing my dreams and in my dreams uh, i see that how muslim will uh, get their lost status back and how muslim will get united again i see my first dream uh, of my life at the age of 5 in the dream i see uh, there uh, on the roof of my home there is stairway towards to the sky and i started to climb up and when i uh, when i was above the clouds i feel those stairways going uh, straight to the allah rabbul alamin the lord of the all worlds and when i was 13 year old uh, i allah and muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam came in my dream first time and when i was 17 year old i uh, those dream, i i started to see those dreams continuously till today and till today i see more than 800 dreams and where what okay what do your dreams usually tell you my dreams are uh, mostly related to upcoming sign of kiyama dajjal yajuj majuj beast of the earth and the day of kiyam uh, the day of kiyama and uh, and world war 3 gazwa hind and uh, the rise of islam and the rise of pakistan and how muslims uh, unite again and how muslim lost uh, get their lost status back again in my dreams i see the major sign of day of judgment will come in our lifetime uh, the main message of my dreams is to avoid shirk and its form if we muslims uh, uh, want allah help then we must abolish and eliminate the shirk and its form and uh, then we uh, then allah will help us and then we will be become united again the shirk is associating divine attribute other than allah people seem to be very interested in these dreams tell me about that what the popularity on um social media kicked off what dream was it well it's hard to say that uh, which dreams people likes more but in general uh, the jal jajuj majuj world war 3 sign of kiyama uh, and gazwa hind people watch uh, more uh, dreams videos and but people are saying that your dreams are coming true that you talked about years ago tell me about that well in my dreams i see that uh, the difficult situation in pakistan economic situation and uh, political situation these dreams are also uh, came true and especially about imran khan uh, these dreams are came true same as i have seen in my dreams and uh, the kashmir dream palestine dreams uh, in my, in one of my dream i see that uh, india doing the same in kashmir what uh, uh, israel doing in the palestine and about palestine i see that uh, they are planning to make a, a, a name only palestine will remain 
and if you see recently uh, big companies uh, they uh, google map and some other companies uh, remove the uh, palestine map from their uh, map and uh, if you see that uh, israel take uh, move their capital to jerusalem and they keep uh, taking muslims land in palestine and uh, there is dreams about uh, economic situation in the whole world in 2017 i see the dream that uh, there is earthquake comes and the business building of the countries uh, start to collapse and if you see that in 2020 the when the corona virus uh, was come uh, the whole world economy uh, start to collapse and uh, it seemed like uh, it was uh, in the dream so these are the dreams that are coming true so what 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 did the dream tell you the following steps that are going to happen in pakistan are in my dream uh, i see that pakistan will be in bad situation dollar will be rise and economic situation will be very bad and political situation even will be very bad i see when imran khan fail then after it political situation will be more bad and economic situation also bad india will try to attack on pakistan especially on borders mm-hmm. and uh, try to destroy the economy uh, economy of pakistan and uh, the uh, weaken the army and the situation will be so bad that even that pakistani uh, will say that even pakistan will be survive as a nation so uh, these events uh, will be happen in future near future in your dream will pakistan be victorious yes inshallah uh, ami the inshallah pakistan will be victorious not only pakistan but the whole muslims in the world will be uh, victorious and in my dream i see that uh, when the true islam of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam uh, spread to the whole world then whole world will become uh, peaceful but uh, before this there is some events uh, will happen and uh, in my dream i see that pakistan will be in bad situation dollar will be rise and uh, reserve will be uh, shrink and uh, the uh, situation in pakistan economic uh, will be very bad and during this my dreams will also spreading and uh, when my my dreams news uh, reached to army chief then uh, prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam give witness to army chief that kasim is not lying about his dreams and the event will be happen same as the, as allah shown in kasim dreams then he will listen to my dreams and even in my dream i see that the dreams will uh, reach to imam kaaba also then uh, pakistan army and institution of pakistan uh, take a bold step and then the government will remove the shirk and its form from the pakistan and uh, in my dreams i see that pakistan uh, will uh, establish uh, true islam of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam remove the shirk and its form eliminate the riba and unite the sects and pakistan inshallah will be become a superpower and pakistan will rise and uh, allah will help us and allah will uh, help pakistan and pakistan will start to grow in one of my dream i see that many i i told myself that many leaders in pakistan comes and they try their best to uh, to pakistan start to progress and rise but they are fa- they all failed even imran khan also failed because no leader try to uh, remove the shirk and its form from uh, within the pakistan until we remove shirk and its form allah will never ever help uh, us and in many of my dreams allah told me kasim i will never ever forgive the shirk on the day of qiyama so we muslims take it very lightly but uh, allah take it very seriously in many of my dreams allah told me kasim i am helping you just because of 
you are uh, you try your best to avoid share candidates form so when we uh, remove the share candidates form allah will help us and pakistan will uh, start start to rise and muslim will be united again and then uh, we uh, muslims uh, get our uh, status back and the true islam of prophet bhama sallallahu alaihi wasallam will spread to the whole world inshallah now i know oh go on sorry bolito i i was accident sorry no no continue so in this dream because i know like your dreams you're very big on we got to give it a shirk we got to give it a shirk so a lot of help will come is that why you're trying to do it so that um inshallah you can earn a lot of pleasure before this thing happens well allah and prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa sallam teaches me in my dreams uh like in one of my dream allah told me kasin before sleeping recite surah ikhlas surah nas and surah falaq and in another dream allah told me kasin when you eat your food then uh, wash your uh, food dish with your index finger and clean the dish so similarly allah and prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam told me in my dreams uh, to avoid shirk and its form and this is the main message of my dreams and allah told me many times uh, that kasim i am helping you just because you try your best to avoid shirk and its form and in uh, many of my dreams allah told me that kasim i will never ever forgive shirk on the day of qiyama uh, so if we muslims want to success we must abolish shirk and its form and then allah will start to help us and uh, then muslims will uh, uh, will get their low status back and after and after removing shirk and its form our plans will be successful because allah will help us in one of my dream i see that many uh, leader come in pakistan and they try their best to pakistan start to grow and uh, start to rise but uh, they all fail because they did not uh, try their best to remove shirk and its form and until we muslims uh, will not uh, uh, remove shirk and its form from our homes from our countries then allah, allah will not help us and when uh, we remove shirk and its form from our country from our homes then allah will help us and then whatever we make a plan allah will help us and that plan will become successful and then uh, pakistan will start to grow and pakistan will rise again inshallah so this is the thing <clears throat> most muslims you come across you ask them about how he they'll say allah is one they'll say you know you only worship one is shirk something heavy in pakistan is it like a trend in one of my dream allah told me kasim this world was never filled with shirk like this as it is today and the shirk uh, form is everywhere when allah and prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam teaches me then i say to myself even in a muslim country it's, it's very hard to avoid shirk and its form and today we in the name of art and culture we uh, a lot of make uh, uh, some decoration pieces with animal shapes and if you go out uh, in the market in the cloth uh, you can see the statues in uh, in the market you can see a lot of uh, pictures unwanted pictures even in every product you can see there is some pictures on it so these are all form of shirk in one of my dream allah told me that kasim uh, hindu also uh, hang their uh, uh, fast goat pictures on their walls and if uh, if muslims uh, hang the pictures on their walls also and they will see that then uh, what is the difference between hindus and muslims they both seeing the pictures these are uh, these 
uh, shirk and its form is uh, maybe many people don't care about it but uh, allah care about it if you see japanese people bow down in front of others that is uh, also the form of shirk and uh, uh, if you see that uh, imran khan just before the election he make a sajda to a uh, grave it's a big form of shirk and that's why uh, allah is uh, was not helping imran khan that's why imran khan got failed so if the leader of uh, a muslim country do a shirk like this then the whole nation will follow it and they will not care about uh, shirk and its form they will take it seriously and they will never uh, got successful because allah will not help us if we want allah help us in everything then we should avoid shirk and its form and uh, we have to remove shirk and its form from our countries so uh, then allah will help us and uh, we muslims uh, start to successful so crazy that you say that but i do know that the british um they tried to keep the pakistan's um illiterate pakistani is illiterate to try to get islam out of them and to host a a, a a generation where they wouldn't know their deen so on accident they would commit shirk and they make things up so alhamdulillah i'm glad i i didn't know it was like that in pakistan i'm um, the same thing for my people our liter- the they try to keep our our literacy very low but now what about the tribalism in pakistan because i know indian and bengali muslims they're not as tribal um did you dream say anything about tribalism in my dreams i see when the true islam of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam spread to the whole world then muslim will be united again and uh, and the regardless of uh, race ethnicity and skin color and we also uh, remove uh, racism and uh, discrimination in my dreams i see when pakistan remove shirk and its form then allah helped to pakistan and pakistan started to grow and pakistan uh, become a peaceful country and many many of muslim around the world migrate to pakistan and to help to spread to islam of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and there is there and we will take care of them and there is no racism no discrimination and the whole muslims uh, live like a one body in my dream uh, allah told me kasim your dreams are not for only pakistan your dreams are for the whole mankind and to the whole world so uh, many of uh, non muslims also message me kasim we are waiting if your dreams are true then we will convert to islam because if my dreams come true and these dreams are from allah then that is the valid evidence that there is a divine god who is our creator and the only one worthy of being worship and islam is the truthful religion now i want to jump to turkey what your dreams telling you about turkey because i know erdogan just made that deal um with saudi so what your dreams telling you about turkey in my dreams i see that uh, there is three castle of islam and these castle actually protecting islam and the first castle of islam is turkey second is saudi arab and the third and last one is pakistan and uh, the disbelievers uh, try to destroy the turkey first castle of islam and russia try to save turkey because uh, they see uh, their their own interest in it now people now that you having these dreams and they're coming to fruition people are starting to make claims that you the mahdi kya soch cha rahe ho no i am not claiming anything i am just a simple ummati of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam the last messenger of allah and you will never ever hear any big uh, word from my mouth and uh, when i started to share my dreams uh, people uh, message me that you are creating those dreams 
that and is pretending that you are that person and uh, then i see the dream that allah told me to upload this uh, make a video and upload this and in the video i clearly mentioned that i am not lying about my dreams and uh, those dreams are from allah and uh, i am not asking any reward from other people and lanatullah uh, al kazibin and may the curse of allah be upon the liars now there was a shake he's kind of popular on youtube he made a video kind of dissing you what's your thoughts yes i have seen those videos and they rejected my dreams and, and uh, it's better if they uh, investigate in the dreams in my dreams i see that ulma will rejected my dreams but when allah help me and make my dreams come true then those ulama will uh, uh, become sad and say that why they did not believe on my dreams before however some scholar accept my uh, dreams but uh, some are waiting for the signs uh, and in the quran allah advise it if someone comes to you with the news verify the news and it's investigate it before you make a verdict otherwise you may be regretful about your decision and you don't harm the people in your ignorance inshallah now people will say mm-hmm. you having all these dreams mm-hmm. people will say you having all these dreams they coming true and you don't have no beard you trying to become model why you don't have no beard Yes I don't have a beard and I never think about it to have a beard and many people message me we don't believe on you uh, just because you don't have a beard and how is it possible that a person who seeing our dreams about prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and he don't have a beard and if i want to make a people fool that i can uh, easy that then i make them fool easily by having a beard it's not so difficult but uh, allah told me in the dreams uh, be a truthful about your dream inshallah when allah will i will have beard and as i told you uh, i am showing myself what i am now do you have any dreams about uh, the mahdi no <laughs> No, no many so, go on. many people ask me if you see Imam Mahdi in your dreams i told them no i never ever see mahdi in my dreams mm. no it's suspicious <laughs> now i'm going to say oh that's cuz you the mahdi <laughs> No, Allah me, knows think, best, but oh. I did not see Mahdi in my dreams. Mm. Now, what about Yemen? Any? Did you get any dreams for uh, any advice in your dreams for the people of Yemen, for the Muslims? I did not see any about uh, any dream about Yemen, and um, may Allah help them and protect those Muslims. I mean, I mean, I mean. What about in what about the Muslims in India? Anything? Any dreams? Any advice to the Muslims in India? In Muslims in India is um, they are also in trouble. Um, I will advise them to uh, avoid shirk and its form, and Allah will help uh, them. And inshallah, when Pakistan will start to start to rise, um, Pakistan will. Uh, protect them inshallah so let me ask you um what the, the dreams um did they say anything about the uighur muslims in my dreams i see that uh, when pakistan start to, started to progress pakistan helping other muslims also even when the world war 3 was uh, happening Pakistan are uh, try his best to save uh, Muslims and in one of my dreams I see Pakistan population and increase a lot 
because uh, Muslims from other countries came to Pakistan. Inshallah, when um, Muslim will get to strong, uh, they will help uh, weaker Muslims also, Inshallah. Inshallah. Okay. So have you received any death threats? Um, actually, people uh, make uh, bad comments also, uh, but I am doing my own work. Uh, when I started to share my dreams uh, in 2015, then uh, people's comments bad and I say, no, uh, this is uh, too much. I will uh, stop this work. And then in uh, February 2015, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam came in my dream, and yeah, he, uh, he's saying, uh, "Do Kasim, do not uh, despite the mercy of Allah, He is help, helping you, and do not stop this work, and just let a uh, wait a little more." And then I say, uh, "I can sacrifice my life uh, uh, for Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam," and Thank these you. are only bad months. And in March 2015, Allah told me uh, in the dream, Kasim, do what I have ordered to you or long live in this darkness uh, and uh, believe me and trust on me. I will reach you safely to your destiny and I am dominate on my work and I trust on Allah I, and I say, if I stay in my home, I will, the death will come to me. And if I stay outside, the, as Allah promised to me, he will uh, protect me and he will uh, uh, reach me safely to my destiny. Mm. Now, have you had any like um, uh, political figures reach out to you? Um. Not now, but uh, inshallah, someday uh, they will yeah. listen, they will believe on the dreams, inshallah. Inshallah. So is that, is, that, is that what you, at this time, you're requesting the Muslims to do, to follow your page and then see what happens? Um, I am not forcing anyone to believe on those dreams. Uh, I am just doing my job. And uh, I have, uh, I am seeing those dreams over 30 years. And I never ever shared those dreams uh, before with, them, uh, with others. And in 2014, Allah and Muhammad sallam, ordered me wow. to share my dreams to others. Then I started to share my dreams. So it's up to people. They can, they have a right, uh, they can believe on the dreams or not. Uh, and I am just doing my job for Allah and His Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Now, is there any, um, what, did you ever have any dreams about the ulema? I have seen the dreams about ulema. They, first, they don't uh, listen to me. They don't believe on the dreams. But uh, when Allah help and Allah make those dreams come true, then uh, those Muslims, uh, uh, then those ulama uh, and Muslims uh, believe on the dreams, inshallah. So, like, do dreams come to you in your dreams often? Uh, not uh, often, but um, in many, um, in very rare <laughs> chance that I have seen jinn in my dreams. So um, you said Allah talks to you in your dreams, right? Yes. So how does he communicate? How does he communicate with you? In many of my dreams, I see Allah is on his earth and the voice is coming from the earth. And in many of my dreams, I see the nur and uh, voice coming from the nur. And uh, uh, Allah also talked to me uh, from the sky. And these are all uh, behind the veil. And uh, I feel that uh, in every dream, I feel that Allah is near to my jugular vein. And uh, I, uh, my whole body witnessed to me that I am talking to Allah Rabbul Alameen, the Lord of the all worlds. 
and uh, Allah's voice is very attractive and divine and he, uh, it's never fluctuation and it's continuously speaking and uh, there is no uh, out of uh, uh, breath uh, like uh, we humans talk and uh, we break for breath but Allah did not uh, 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 Allah voice is never break up and it's continuously talk uh, Allah co continuously talk and the same with uh, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa my whole body witnessed to me that I am talking with the last messenger of Allah, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa sallam. And in uh, one of my dream, I hugged to uh, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa sallam and my whole body witnessed that I am hugging uh, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa sallam. If I shake hand with Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wa sallam, then my hand witness to me that I am shaking hand with the last messenger of Allah, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. What does Allah's voice sound like? Is it deep? Is it high? Is it masculine? Is it feminine? What does it sound like? It's a uh, manly voice. The voice of Allah is so beautiful. I never ever heard like this. And uh, Allah voice is never uh, down or never so high. It's continuously. Uh, we have to breathe uh, while talking, but uh, the Allah speak continuously. So um, this is how I um, actually I don't have words and I don't have word to describe the uh, voice of Allah. Was there any advice on to the Muslims on how to protect themselves uh, if and when a World War III comes? Well, I think it's one at this point, but... In my dream, I see World War III and Gazwa Hind many times uh, in my dreams. And uh, these are... And in the dreams, there is warning for Muslims that these events is coming and we have to prepare for it. And even one of my dreams, I see that uh, Pakistan army had to double its numbers to handle the upcoming events. So uh, just like a story of uh, King uh, of Egypt during the time of Yusuf al Islam, and he have a, uh, he has seen a dream and uh, and Yusuf al Islam interpreted the dream and they make a plan together to save Egypt from the disaster and Allah help them and uh, they passed that disaster by the mercy of Allah. So just like uh, the story of the king of Egypt, we have to prepare ourselves about upcoming events like World War III, Gazwa Hind, and we have must abolish shirk and its form. So when we will make a plan about uh, World War III and Gazwa Hind, so Allah help us and we uh, and we will successful in our plans. And Gazwa Hind will be a part of World War III. And Muslim will get their first victory in World War III in Gazwa Hind by the mercy of Allah and the by and by the help of Allah. So um okay. So now you having dreams about Isa and the Jal, I heard. Oh, sorry. The dreams. The Dajjal, and did you get any signs when the Dajjal, if the Dajjal coming in our life, if he is, when, you get any signs? Yes, I have seen many things about the Dajjal and Isa al-Islam, and I see that uh, the Dajjal tried to destroy the whole world peace, and he tried to become a false god, and he have a magical powers to prove his uh, claim. And uh, we decided to uh, raid war against the Jal. And in that dream, um, and in that dream, I see that uh, the Jal army killed many Muslims. 
and I, with very few people, join Isa al Islam, and then we will, uh, and then we live uh, with Isa al Islam. In my dream, Allah showed me that the Jal is uh, here and he is alive, and he is uh, upgrading his powers. And uh, Allah also showed me his identity, and his name is. Uh, I will mention some other time. And uh, we will see the big sign of Kiyama in uh, next 25 to 30 years. And the job will come also. So which prophets have you seen in your dreams? I have seen many prophets in my dreams. Uh, I have seen Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I have seen Ibrahim Al-Islam. I have seen Musa Al-Islam. I have seen... Suleiman al Islam and I have seen Isa al Islam and I have, I have seen a few other uh, prophet of Allah also and uh, in my dreams I see that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam talk very softly and politely and uh, there is nur uh, coming from his body and in one of my dreams uh, uh, I met this Suleiman al Islam. And I only see the face of Suleiman al-Islam. And in Suleiman al-Islam dreams, I see that uh, I went to some building where uh, uh, some creatures and uh, I feel they can't see me. And I went to the top of the building and I see there is a table and on the table there is uh, some box. And I grabbed that box and went out from the building. And I also say that uh, these uh, don't look like a uh, human and they can't even see me. And then I went to another side and then there is, I see a, a building. Uh, when I uh, entered to that building, then someone called, uh, called me from behind that Kasim stopped, uh, uh, that uh, uh, stopped Kasim. And then I stopped there and I got surprised who is there, who uh, knows my name. And when I turned back and then I see that uh, uh, Suleiman al-Islam was standing there and he asked me, uh, where did you get that box? And I, te and I tell the story uh, to Prophet uh, Suleiman al-Islam that there is building and uh, on the top of the building, I uh, uh, got that box from there. And Suleiman al Islam uh, asked me, No one uh, tried to stop you? And then I uh, told him, No, no one uh, stopped me. And uh, I feel that no one even can see me. And uh, uh, Prophet uh, Suleiman al Islam told me that, uh, Give me that box, and there is only a ring. You can have this uh, ring, but uh, give, me that, uh, give me that box because they are jeans. And if they come to know that you uh, have that box uh, and they will come after you and until you uh, give them uh, that, that box, uh, they will not leave you alone. So I say, uh, okay. And then I uh, give that box to Suleiman al-Islam and Suleiman al-Islam give me that ring. And uh, I ask uh, him, if you bring that box to that place, uh, Jin will come to know that uh, there is no ring. Then Prophet Suleiman al Islam told me that no, uh, till Kiyama they will not, uh, they will not uh, go to know that there is uh, no ring inside the box. So uh, they will not uh, uh, come after you. And during that talk with Suleiman al Islam, I did not see any imperfection in his face. And I feel that uh, if Allah made this universe in six day and six night, then uh, Allah made Suleiman al-Islam in a billion years. And in one of my dream, I see that uh, Prophet Ibrahim al-Islam with his wife and uh, little uh, child Ismail al-Islam was going on somewhere and there is only desert. And uh, Allah told me that Qasim Lok, uh, uh, Prophet Ibrahim al Islam is going uh, there just because of my order. And Allah said, if they trust on me, then why you can't trust on me? 
and you have to trust on me and I will fulfill my promises with you. I also see Musa Islam in my dream and I see that Musa Islam was standing there and uh, the angel of death come to him without asking permission and Musa Islam minded and Musa Islam slapped him uh, very hard and he stepped to the floor and I got scared by it and I uh, just uh, stick with the wall and then Musa Islam see me and he came to me very politely and he told me that he did not mean to scare me. How, how do you communicate with them? Is there like some special ibadah or something you do? Tell me. Do you do something ibadah? Like do you offer extra rakat in salat? Do you do rozadar? Like how do you, um, is there something special that you do? No, I am just a simple person and nothing more than this. And it's all about the mercy of Allah. And the mercy of Allah is for everyone. And I am just a simple ummati of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the last messenger of Allah. And in the Quran, Allah mentioned in the Surah Shura that Allah can speak to mankind through inspiration or behind the veil. And the dream is like through uh, inspiration and behind the veil. And in the history, if we see that many scholars uh, used to talk in the dream uh, with Allah, like uh, Imam Abu Hanifa, Ahmad bin Hanbal, they are all used to talk with Allah in their dreams. And uh, there is uh, some uh, scholars uh, like uh, Imam an Novi, Sheikh Islam, and uh, Imam Ghazali. They uh, also said that is it, it, it is possible to talk with Allah in the dreams. But Allah is beyond our imagination. So now, what about this Yazuj and Majuj video? People keep talking. People seem very excited about this this video, the description, what they're gonna do, where they come from. I have seen Yazuj Majuj many times in my dreams, and how uh, Zulkul Nan uh, trapped them, and how they become uh, enemy of humans. And I already explained in my videos, and they are on the YouTube channel. And I have seen that the Jal killed millions of Muslims. And uh, I, with very few people, uh, go to train to join Isa al Islam. And on the way, a uh, few Yajuj Majuj attack on our train. And when I see them, uh, I see, uh, I say to myself, they are coming from the sky. And when I throw the nur of Allah on them, they die in the air. And then we reach to Isa al-Islam and then we started to live with Isa al-Islam. I have seen that uh, Yajuj Majur destroy the whole world. And after it, there is no technology. And after Yajuj Majur died, there is only two type of people left on the earth. Muslims and the other side, the worst people of humanity. And then we live the rest of our life with Isa al-Islam. And I see that the beast of the earth also comes. And at, the, at this point, we are very close to the Qiyamah. Inshallah. It was very nice talking to you. Do you have any message you want to leave for the people out there, Muhammad Qasim? The message is uh, avoid shirk and its form. And if Muslims want to get... Uh, their status back, we have to avoid shirk and its form. And we have to remove the shirk and its form from uh, our countries also, uh, Muslims countries. So uh, then Allah will help us and then um, the world will become peaceful and with full of justice, inshallah. There is a lot of dreams on my uh, YouTube channel and Facebook page. And if someone want to watch the videos, uh, they can come to my YouTube channel and Facebook page.